Today I want to talk to you about drill bit collars. Okay, so these are for your hardened plate drill bits. I've got a 6mm here and a 10mm here. And you'll notice in your set you've got loads of different widths. And literally that's just for the widths of the blade. So in this case that one's even bigger than that one. There we go. That's that for that one. And that's for that one. Okay, the biggest thing that people go wrong is they screw the screw there. On the high, but actually you need to screw it in on the groove. All right, so you use your Allen key to tighten it in. But simply, a drill bit collar is to prevent you from drilling too deep. You could use them anything when you're drilling any, any type of lock, realistically. But the main reason we use it is for mortise locks. Because mortise locks can be really worried if we drill into the levers. So I'm going to show you a demonstration shortly. Uh, when one of my engineers is going to drill open the mortise lock. So what he'll do is, he'll identify the lock, as we've learned from the course. And then he'll drill into the wood. As soon as it hits the casing, he'll then take his drill out, slide the bit on against the door, and push it in so it'll stop dead. And he'll tighten it up in the groove, all right? And once he's tightened it up, so push that in the door, that's up the frame. So it's tight. We take it off, and then we need to add the millimeters for the casing now, because we want to drill into the lock but not hit the levers. So there's a non-British standard, only one mil we need to add. If it's British standard, we need the one mil for the case and then two mil for the British standard plate. So I'll get the rule out. And actually what I'm gonna do is just measure three mil back. Okay. And move it about three mil. And retighten it. Now, when I go back to now to drill that lock, It'll go through the empty drill plate, through the case, and not hit the levers. But the best thing about it is you can always adjust it back and go a bit more. But this way, it's really safe not to hit them levers because if you hit the levers and they start concaving in, it becomes a bit of a nightmare. But for what you pay for them, they last a long time, and it's just the ease and the stress it it takes away from you is brilliant, and more, especially on mortise locks. So I'm going to pass you over to Peter, my engineer, to go show you in practice. As you can see, this engineer now is drilling to lock. Once it hits the lock casing, he's then going to stop drilling and then slide the drill bit collar up to the edge of the door. This will tell us the distance between the lock case and the edge of the door. So he's going to loosen it up now. The drill bit will touch the edge of the case and you slide up and then you retighten it, making sure the grub screw is in the groove to prevent it from slipping. Okay. Brilliant, so now we've got the distance between the lock case and the door, but now we need to add on the extra millimetre for the lock case so we can drill into the lock case to pick it without hitting the levers. So if it's a British standard lock, we've got one mil casing and two mil anti-drill plates, that's three mil in total. Non-British standard, we're only talking one mil because we've got no anti-drill plate. So in this case, we're doing a non-British standard, so Peter is just going to add one mil on to compensate for that. Best thing about this, you can underestimate it's fine because all you're going to do is have to keep just adjusting it more. It's better to do it that way than putting too much distance on it and still drilling into that lever pack. Otherwise, you've not used the drill bit cause for what they intended to do. So now we'll drill in, he'll drill that extra one mil further now. There you go. So now he's through the lock case now and you can see the levers without touching them. Clear access to picking now. Thank you very much.